Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloom.com and if you're new to this channel, welcome. Here we review productivity software for personal and business use and also make tutorials about the apps that we like the most. Today we're going to review Asana. This is a project management application that will help you track your projects and tasks, set goals and collaborate with your team. Let's start. When you log into Asana, you start on the homepage. Here you can find a list of the tasks that are due soon, as well as your favorite records and recent projects that you have worked on. On the left, you will find the navigation bar. On the top, you have the different modules. Below, you can find the favorites. And finally, you can see the workspace, in this case called Operations, where all your projects are going to be located. To open a new project, you can either click on the Recent Projects section, or you can use the navigation bar. This is the task list related to this project. To add a task, just click on the button and name the task. To open a task, just click on it. This panel will display more information about the task, like description or subtasks. On the top, you can find the project navigation bar, as well as some basic information, like the status of the project. You have multiple views available, so you can use the one that fits the project. The overview tab shows all the information about the project, and you can set milestones or relate goals. To create a project, Click on the plus button next to the workspace and then select if you want to use a template or create a blank project. When you're working on multiple projects, you will have tasks related to all of them. In the module My Tasks, you will find all the tasks assigned to you in the same place. The Portfolios module allows you to create portfolios of the most important projects you have, so you can track progress and also keep them organized. You can create multiple portfolios to group different projects together. Finally, on the top you will find the search bar, as well as a quick add button, and your profile section. Overall, I think the way Asana is organized is really intuitive and easy to learn. Also, the design looks great, and you can customize some things about it. More on that later in the video. Asana has a lot of features, but here are the ones that I like the most. Portfolios is a great way to group projects together and track progress. You can also add custom fields to this section. And something I didn't mention before is that when you group projects, you can see the workload for each user based on the projects you grouped. You can use the goals section to create goals for your company and track the progress here. You can also add sub goals that contribute to the main goal. And you can link projects that are related to each goal based on the project outcome. A good project manager has to have a good reporting system where you can clearly see information about your projects. In Asana, you can create dashboards to display the information you need, and you have multiple widgets to choose from. Another good feature is that you can create forms for each project and share them so other people can add tasks or requests to the project using the forms. They don't have to have access to Asana to use the forms. Finally, I wanted to mention that you can add the same task to multiple projects in case the same task affects both projects. This is a feature that I haven't seen in other project manager apps. Let's talk about customization. As I mentioned before, you can create portfolios and goals that fit your company. You can also change the colors of multiple sections of Asana, like the projects or custom fields. This will help you identify records faster. Inside each project, you can create sections that will help you organize tasks in a better way. You can use the sections as task statuses or tasks lists. Custom fields is another option available. You can add custom fields to tasks and then use them to filter information. You can also add custom fields to portfolios and they will help you filter the projects. The last customization feature in my list is templates. You can convert any project to a template and then use the custom templates to create new projects. Automations in Asana are a little bit limited, but the basics are covered. You can add rules to any project so you can automate some basic tasks, like when a task is completed, send a message on Slack, or when the due date is soon, change the priority. If you create a template from a project that has rules, they will be saved in the template as well. But like I said, it has some limitations. For example, you can't notify people via email or assign a task to the project owner automatically or even choose a trigger based on the task name. And there is no way to trigger a webhook with rules. Also, it is worth to mention that this only works with tasks. There are no automations available for projects. But I would say that the automations available are similar to other project managers out there. Asana has a marketplace where you can find all the integrations available. This marketplace has a lot of integrations, covering the majority of the most popular apps out there, 
like the Office Suite, Google Workspaces, Slack, Salesforce, Zendesk, Zoom, Jira, and more. Each integration has a description of what it does and how to install it. Also, there are several connector integrations, and Zapier is here. Zapier allows Asana to share information with other apps that don't have a native integration. If you want to know more about it, I made some videos that I will leave in the description. I think Asana has more integrations than the majority of the other project managers out there, which makes it more flexible. Asana is really easy to set up and admin. They have great videos that show the basics and also a lot of articles that show in detail how to customize and use the features. Adding users is really simple, as well as creating templates and adding custom fields. The most difficult part would be to set up rules, but it's not too complicated either. The last thing we're gonna talk about is price. Today we reviewed the business version that is $30 per user per month, bill monthly. But the minimum users allowed is two, so you will have to pay $60 a month. This makes Asana one of the most expensive project managers out there. But this is the price to pay if you want to use one of the most popular and well-polished project managers. But if you're just starting, you can go with the basic plan, which is free, and upgrade once you need it. I think Asana is a great project manager that checks all the boxes except one, the price. The features are great and the design and layout are intuitive and easy to use. I recommend this app to businesses that are already using a project manager and are looking for something with better support and that just works. Having these features comes with a high cost so you will have to decide if that's convenient for you. If you're looking for something like this but less expensive, you could try ClickUp. It has a lot of similarities and even some extra features like time tracking. And if you want something even less expensive, you can check out Zoho Projects. It works really well and also has some great features. I reviewed both apps, so I will leave the links in the video description. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. I have a question for you. Are you currently using a project management software? And if you do, which one are you using? Let me know in the comments down below. And also remember to check out the other videos I have on this channel. Thanks for watching.